Hi everyone, I'm Lala. I'm a third year clarinetist in Aswara and I am under the tutelage of Dr. Casey Broadway. And for today, I am sharing, I am going to share with you some tips and tricks on how to improve your playing in orchestra accents. Let's go. Let's start with the basics first. What are orchestral excerpts? So, orchestral excerpts are short sections from the symphony series, from the symphony repertoire. So, standard orchestral excerpts may vary from instrument to instrument and they are chosen for their technical difficulty, expressive nuances, or exposure in a piece of orchestral literature. Why are excerpts important? Well, if you want to specifically play in an orchestra, your future is at the mercy of orchestral excerpts, specifically your ability to play them. Excerpts demonstrate a musician's lyrical and technical capabilities in important passages in various pieces, and they are the foundation of any orchestra audition. So in each audition, um, they will have like a slightly different of required excerpts but the standard list the standard list remains more or less the same so usually in an orchestra audition they they ask you to prepare 10 to 20 excerpts but sometimes the jury might want to hear just a few but you just have to prepare yourself mentally and physically in your playing, you have to prepare everything in order to secure your place. So, let's start. The excerpt that I'm about to share with you is actually a work from one of the famous composers in the music world, which is Beethoven. Before you actually play your piece, right, before you actually make a tune out of it, you have to know the roots, you have to know who made the song, you have to know who wrote the song, why he wrote the song, what what was he thinking when he wrote the song. So, Beethoven, he was born on 1770 and he died at 1827, which means that from the timeline that I just said, you actually know that Beethoven was born in the classical era and he died in romantic era but for today in this video specifically I will focus on one famous excerpt which is the first excerpt in the first movement okay so Beethoven was such a great composer so he has a lot of works <coughs> a lot of renowned works many of Beethoven's works are titled yet many of these names came from friends or from those to whom the pieces were dedicated to this sixth symphony however is one of the only two symphonies Beethoven intentionally named so what is the name for symphony number no. 6, it's specifically called Pastoral Symphony or Recollections of Country Life. So in this piece, in, this, in the Pastoral Symphony, Beethoven just wanted to express his undying love, express his feelings, express his love towards nature. So that's why he made this symphony. His affinity for nature and his love for walks through the country outside Vienna were captured in the six. Before I say anything, before I share with you anything, let me show you how it sounds like. receive a new 
song is I will always check the key so if you check if you check the key for this symphony number no. 6 Atlantic key it's in F major and for the clarinet it will be G major we only have one sharp after I look at the key signature, I will always look at the time signature. So the time signature is 6 8 in this excerpt. Uh, we'll check with the dynamics. So it starts with the forte and then it goes soft to piano and then it goes back to forte. And yeah, it's. It's rotating between 40 piano, 40, 40, 40, 40, and then it has a diminuendo, which means you have to go soft. You have to gradually go soft until you reach the destination, which is in this case the destination is pianissimo. After that, I will look for terms that's on the sheet music that's on the score. So in this case. We have dolce. So what is dolce? Dolce is sweet. Play a sweet dolce. Okay, that part. So beginners, they tend to rush everything, you know? So when they rush, they don't play the exact value of what's written. So, for example, the melody for this bar is da 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 like that. But beginners, what they normally do, what they tend to do, is da 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 they like to rush so what how do you how do you tackle how do you overcome this problem is <sighs> a metronome you turn on your metronome and then you just follow two three four dum da da dum da 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 Okay, so <clears throat> you get that first play, play with full value, and then okay, when you can do that, you're good to go. Let's continue. So, <clears throat> okay, this song is all about triplets, this accent is all about triplets. Yep, it's all triplets. So, the first triplet that we are going to face is from the C and then it goes to F sharp, C, F sharp, E, C, F sharp. That's what you know, actually, it has a pattern. So, look closely, look very carefully. The next tip that I'm about to give you is if you want to make your muscle memory like remember the movements of the song of the flow of the song so what you can do is you change the articulation you change the first you change articulations and then you change the value of the note I am going to show you how I very dependent, okay? Make sure you end the phrase correctly. Don't end the phrase 
simply anywhere you want it to be because you can do that you actually have to know the phrasing so when you practice with metronome you practice properly and then you just keep it going the triplets you keep it going ta 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 one two three one two three one two three one two three triplet 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 one two three one two three you just keep it going keep it going and then eventually if you play it correctly if you if you practice hard you practice good you practice correctly so you will develop inner beat so what is inner beat inner beat is the pulse inner beat is something that when you play your music you don't have to rely on clicks you don't have to rely on the metronome you actually rely on the feel of the music or, or you rely on the bounce of the music like that's that's what inner beat is it's not physically giving beat it's it's actually in your heart okay so when your inner beat is strong when your inner beat is good then your playing your playing will have a movement to it okay if your music has movement you actually know where you want to go you actually know your destination like it has the rhythm it has the bounce to it then everyone will enjoy it more the people the listener will enjoy listening to it and you will enjoy playing it upon receiving new pieces upon receiving new new music to your eyes new music to your ears the first thing that you have to do is start slow <laughs> this applies to everything this applies to every musician out there doesn't matter if you play classical doesn't matter if you play jazz or you play modern music the first thing that you have to do when you receive new songs when you want to study a new song is start slow by starting slow it means that what i usually do is i always start at 6 So you get your metronome. Okay. Yep. You start slow. You get your metronome, and then you start. You start at sixty, and then you go through what is there and what isn't there in your songs, and you have to be very strict, be very disciplined. Please follow, follow the metronome, follow the tempo. follow just if you can't get it right just stop and then you start over with the same tempo until you get it right and then once you get it right you increase it you increase your tempo by what i normally do is i increase it by 2 or 4 and then i practice again and then when i am completely comfortable with the tempo I increase it up a bit and then it just goes on and on it's like a loop it's like in a time loop it's in a cycle you just repeat the same process until you get what you desire so it is very important to practice with your metronome so that um your muscle memory will remember everything so That's why when you play something, when you play something with the metronome and you get it wrong, stop. You just immediately stop and try your best to get to perfect the passage that you are practicing because your your muscle memory is actually like taking up the pieces, taking up the steps. Like oh, after this I have to go this I have. After this, I have to go there. That's why you have to practice slowly and with a metronome in order to keep you on track. Yep. So in order to keep you on track, please use the metronome. Okay. So <clears throat> after after following the tempo, there comes your intonation. So why do you have to play slow at the very beginning? It's to actually check your intonation whether it goes very sharp or it goes very flat when you play a song that has like long tones 
you have to practice long tunes before anything else before you start warming up you practice long tunes you just just blow long tunes for half an hour just to get it right just to like oh okay i have to grip more on this part i have to set my embouchure to this to this setting on this part just trust the process okay if you just follow it properly you will be good in no time so metronome and a tuner these are a must-haves in your bag okay i think that's all from me if i ever miss anything just, just comment down below just please let me know i am open to any advices if i ever see anything wrong i am so sorry if you have some more tips you can share with us share with the whole community because let's spread love so i think that would be all for beethoven symphony number no. six don't be afraid when you when you see like oh there are so many connected notes there are so many semiquivers don't be afraid it's just notes you only have like 12 notes so don't be afraid just start slow build your way up and then i pray you best of luck and i'll see you in the next video bye oh P.S. You can actually connect with me through my email. I, I will insert my email down below and maybe you can find out my socials but I don't think I'm active at the moment but I'll put it down below too. So, thank you. Have a nice day.